In this video, I'll show you how to create an email template that you can use for reference later, or you can use for an auto emailer. Uh, you can use it as a bulk emailer through the emailing tool. It makes an HTML file. Uh, you can go to any of the places where you can create emails. Uh, for example, I'm inside a customer, and I went to the email tab. I'm hitting add. You can also go to main email bulk emailer. This area here is an HTML er editor area. So we can simply type in the email message we want. And if you hit shift enter, that will bring it down so it only does a single space as opposed to a paragraph. And as I'm typing in the URL and hit space, it just fills it in. And now that's a linkable, uh, clickable uh, URL. Then we can start doing some fun things in here. Since it's HTML, we can do things like changing the font. You want to keep the font usually pretty simple. Uh, Arial, Times New Roman, things like that, that all systems are going to have when it arrives on their uh, on their computer. Um, but you can use different fonts. You can change, uh, of course, the size and the colors. Make it bold, underline, all kinds of different things you might want to do. Um, we can also give it different layouts by using things such as tables. So I'm going to create a quick table here so that there'll be a, um, you've probably seen these with a, a, a area on the left. So I'm going to set uh, one row with two columns. And I'm going to set a background color of like a green. Click OK. And what I want to do is I want to copy this. I'll cut it actually, paste it over here, and I use that green so I can go into the HTML editor. If you know HTML, you can come in here, and do all kinds of things. So I'm going to take the reason I chose the green uh, or the color I chose. I choose whichever, but I knew it was going to put it inside here for me. I don't want it to be in the table. I want to take that, cut it out of there, and I want to put it in the column, which is the TD section here, the column. And I'm going to paste it inside here. And I'm going to set the width equal to 15% of the screen. And I will come back. When it comes back, it doesn't uh, automatically does a spell check. And www, things like that will check as well. Uh, no, I do not need to save my changes here. We'll use a different uh, piece for that. So now we got a little bit of a bar area over here. I can resize this by clicking down here and then resizing it. What you'll see is the 15% over here is changing because I'm changing the width and it's doing by percentage. Setting it to maybe about there. If I put the cursor in here and hit enter, I can get these sections go down a little bit. Um, you can also do all kinds of playing in HTML if you know HTML. A lot of it's graphic, um, and we can add an image in here. What I find works real easy is when I you, you need you need to have the image available on a website. So hopefully on your website, so you got control of it. Um, but you go to your website where your image is, and when you right click, you can choose copy the image URL. It puts that in the memory. And I'm going to come up here and just do a paste to make sure that I've got the address right. OK, that works. See? Now I switch back over. And now I'm going to insert an image. And I'm just going to paste that in here. Hit OK. It's a little large. 
so I can re easily resize it. I can also then center it. Maybe I want a space in between there. Maybe I don't want that big of a space, and so I might do a shift enter so it's a single space as opposed to a paragraph space, like here's a paragraph space. And uh, that may be my simple email I want to be sending out. And this is just a template. It's going to use it over and over, and I will uh, be able to take this one and save it. So I click Save down here. Um, I always like to kind of check the HTML, see if it looks pretty clean. That looks pretty clean. Sometimes there's all kinds of extra things in there that you might want to clean up. And so now I hit Save. And I can save it onto my desktop or wherever, someplace I'm going to be able to. Uh, and, and I already have one here called this. So I'm going to tell it yes, overwrite it. It's now saved. What I like to do is I like to close this. No, I do not want to save my changes here because I'm not trying to save this as an email within Tracker. I want to save it as a file to be used. So this is asking, do I want to save it so that I could be emailing this off to somebody later? But then I hit Add again to come back here, open an email. I'm going to load it. And there it is, all saved. So now I can take that file and put it out someplace to use for uh, a template, which if this template could say, be, be my signature on the bottom and have thank you for, uh, or, or, or just, you know, the regular contact information you might put on the bottom of an email uh, that you use over and over. And then you can go load and then open it up and start typing your new email. So that is how you create a template. Um, and then from here, as I said, you can take this template and you can attach it into an auto emailer, which I will show you in, an, uh, in the next video.